Question 12. So let's start off by looking at this left hand side. So cosec is 1 over sine theta. I've got minus sine theta. Now let's combine it. So let's multiply this one, top and bottom, by sine theta. Okay? So it's like multiplying it by 1, isn't it? So what do we get? We get 1 minus sine squared theta over sine theta. What's that? That is cos squared theta. So we can write cos squared theta over sine theta. Well, let's just write it like this. Cos theta times cos theta over sine theta. What's that? That's cot, isn't it? Okay. That's cot theta. So it's equal to cos theta cot theta, okay, which is what we were trying to get to. Right, let's have a look at part B. Now, the first thing that I'm going to think of here is like, think, why, why have they just got us to do this here? Though? All right, so look at this here, and let's replace this effectively with cos cot. All right, so let's write out what we've got. All right, so remember, when you're always a little bit stuck and you're looking at something like this, think, well, why have they told me this? So we can write, so what have we got? We've got cos x and we've got cot x equal to cos x and then cot and then 3x minus 15. Now, be careful of the next step because obviously it looks like what we can actually do is we can divide both sides by cos x, okay? But be careful about when cos x equals zero, then that's a solution, isn't it? Okay, so cos of 90, yeah? So there's one possible solution, is when x equals 90. Now let's just think about the other two, all right? So effectively we'd like, just we can, we can cancel that possibility. So if, if cos x isn't zero, we can effectively divide both sides by it, okay? So there's one solution. And now let's think about this. Now, if you write it down, then it becomes obvious. But x equals 3x minus 15. I didn't go through that quite a bit. So 3x minus 50. Add 50, OK? Take away x from both sides. So x equals 25. Now, you might think that you're done and dusted. But if you think about cot, Think about, well, think about tan. Tan has a period of 180 and it repeats itself. So like we can say this, okay, we can also say, so remember tan has a period of 180 degrees. So cot, therefore, is going to be, it's going to be the same idea, isn't it? So therefore, x plus 180 must equal, um, 3x minus 50, okay, so add the 50 to 30, take away the x to x, so x could also equal 115, right, so 1, 2, 